Hi, I am Dr. Deepak Shedde. Welcome to this capsule on polycystic ovarian disease. I am a practicing gynecologist for the last 20 years and I hope that these capsules will make some difference to your life. How many of you have heard about polycystic ovarian disease? How many of you have suffered from polycystic ovarian disease? Have you been told to go on a diet, maybe lose weight, exercise, and uh, I've even heard of girls being told that um, get married and after that everything gets better. If so, I'm pretty sure that these capsules will be of some use to you. Remember, these health capsules are only for your health awareness and are not a substitute for a visit to your doctor. So a young girl comes along to our consultation clinic with a history of not getting a periods on time. There could be others who will come along with hair growth problems on her face. There could be some with acne. There could some could come along with a change in her weight. There could also be problems related to having conceiving a child or infertility and even some would have difficulty to continue with your pregnancy. A common association of polycystic ovary is weight. Some girls will have a lot of weight increase and uh, a lot of girls actually don't have any weight change at all. In fact, we'll have a couple of girls who have actually a normal weight or even lesser than that weight, which should be normal for her height. So we have two types of polycystic ovary. One is known as an obese PCO, another one is a lean PCO. Both have polycystic ovarian disease. And both require the same treatment, more or less. So how do we confirm the diagnosis of polycystic ovarian disease? Well, the first thing we do is to get an ultrasound done. And an ultrasound done, uh, we'll be looking at particularly her ovaries. And in the ovaries, we'll be looking at the number of eggs she has in her ovaries at a particular time. Well, not correctly speaking her eggs, it's the egg containing follicle which we'll be looking at. Now, typically, a girl should be having uh, maybe one follicle growing well in a month. A polycystic ovarian disease would have a lot of eggs growing at one time. This is what we mean by poly. Poly means more. Cyst is the follicle. So our ovary has a lot of follicles growing. So remember, when you're told you have a cystic ovary, it doesn't always mean that there's something to get really scared about. A lot of people assume that if you have a cyst in your ovary, that means there's some tumor growing. Well, no, it's not true. Your ovaries have cysts in them. They are not normal follicles. They are normal egg growing follicles. It just so happens in a polycystic ovary, you have far too many of them. The next thing we would like to do is to look at your hormone balance. And we'll be doing a test known as an LH and an FSH test. Since polycystic ovarian disease is associated with diabetes, we'll be also checking your sugars. There is also an association with uh, abnormal thyroid levels as well, so which are probably checking your thyroid function. We could also be looking at a test known as prolactin and we also have some tests known as AMH and uh, occasionally we would need to look at your insulin levels and we'd also probably need to look at your male hormone levels. But remember, all these tests are always not really needed. Some of them may be required and some of them may not be. So, to summarize, a polycystic ovary is a syndrome. You have multiple skin problems. You also typically have irregular periods, usually late periods. A proportion of girls will have an increase in weight, but not all. You also find that there's often a family history of diabetes. A simple ultrasound and a blood test usually clinches the diagnosis. So in the upcoming capsule, we'll be discussing why do you get polycystic ovary disease. And we'll realize that if you know why you have polycystic ovarian disease, you'll probably understand why it's actually quite simple to treat you. And in the subsequent capsule, we'll start looking at the treatment options. All right. So I hope this particular capsule is of use to you. 
if it is please uh, put a, a like uh, just click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that you will get updates once we finish with this PCOD uh, series uh, we'll be going at all sorts of different types of problems related to women's health and I welcome you to please put down in the comment section any particular suggestions you have to uh, which you would like me to discuss on and I'll definitely look at that all right so see you